All right, what's up, everybody? So we have a bit of a uh, dark room setup going on here, which is making me look a little more pale, I see, than normal. Kind of like an anime character, I guess. But uh, I'm going to do something completely out of my comfort zone today. Um, you know, I honestly myself have had this guilty pleasure for a super long time, is that I used to, or I still do, uh, watch a lot of YouTube channels that do reaction videos and um, usually you know there's a couple of shows of course that I myself am a massive fan of uh, for me you know people might know my taste already if you've been following my uh, channel of course you know I'm a huge fan for usually realistic stuff Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul that's like my favorite TV show uh, then there's something like you know uh, a true detective or uh, Lord of the Rings or whatever I just love I love watching people react um, to those movies and TV shows because it kind of gives me the experience of like being a first time viewer again. I don't get to have that experience. I've watched those things dozens of times. <laughs> and so obviously the magic kind of wears off at some point, right? And so I always think it's great to relive that experience through other people. Um, and so that's been a, yeah, like I said, major guilty pleasure of mine. And today I'm gonna actually do it myself. Um, now, you've probably already seen by the title what I'm going to react to. And once again there, that is completely out of my comfort zone. Because uh, people might know from my streams, I often kind of tend to make fun of a lot of my viewers who uh, are massive anime fans. There's quite a lot of them, in all honesty. And I always call them weebs. And, uh, you know, they get mad at me. But it's all shits and giggles. It's not <laughs> serious in any way, right? I have nothing against anime. It is just that, I don't know, it's never really appealed to me just from a surface level as somebody who has never really gotten into it either or given it a fair chance so that's definitely a disclaimer i want to make like i'm open-minded uh, towards it completely right it's just that like i said from an outside perspective um i never really saw the big deal there's things i watched in the past uh you know as a kid i watched pokemon and i watched um you know maybe something like Yu Gi Oh or avatar the last airbender uh, as a kid you know that's yeah, I don't know, it never, uh, well, Pokemon I was a, I was a fan of, uh, but the anime art style and everything like that never really appealed to me too much. Um, yeah, it's just that, like I said, I want to do something that's different for a change, and I just want to give it a chance. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, I have uh, my editor, Josh, who helps me actually put these videos together, um, and he gave me some recommendations, and, uh, you know, Attack on Titan is the one that everybody talks about. I already knew that. Um, he told me, you should absolutely give it a go. You should absolutely just check it out and see what you think. And that's basically what the plan is. So I'm just going to get going and I'm just going to literally start with the very first episode. I have no idea what it's about, literally. I just know the title, Attack on Titan. And I just saw a quick image where I saw some type of ghost looking titan or whatever. And, that, and that's it. Again, I know nothing. So please don't be too judgmental. Sorry if I don't immediately, uh, you know, maybe grasp a lot of things. I'll try my very best. This is my very first time I'm going to be reacting to something completely new for me. Um, yeah, and it's also in a genre, like I said, that uh, I want to give a fair chance, but I have never really gotten into myself. So with that being said, I would say let's just get going right away. And uh, I'll obviously provide you a quick little review after we watch the first episode. Um, yeah, with what I thought so far. And then if I like it, we will obviously uh, continue this and I might, uh, you know, simply end up watching the entire show and posting all my reactions here on YouTube. So let's get going. That is one ugly motherfucker. It's a muscle titan. It's 
Some pretty epic gear right there. Grappling hook 2.0. the stuck there intro uh, all right all right i find it interesting that they seem to have some kind of like 3d model sometimes and like the 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 art style is pretty interesting yeah right there as well just now to you 2000 years in the future the fall of Ziganshina. It's the Netherlands. So this is the year 845. I'm not sure. Oh, I guess, oh, it, I guess it's still the year 845, right? Okay. Oh, so the year 845 is the <laughs> no, It's probably not a lot. But I wonder, is it always like the titans that they are fighting or is it some different group or... He doesn't sound too convinced about saying that. That is one uh, <laughs> regretful uh, <laughs> way of putting it. Humanity lives within three... Alright, that goes quick. I guess that's some additional information I can check out if I want to. I would have to pause though. <clears throat> So they're, they're kind of like leading a, or living a lifestyle of prisoners, basically. And they don't really know what it's like outside the walls, I guess, yeah. Hmm. 
それは僕に降参したってことじゃないのかうるせえぞこのヘリクツ野郎やめろケレンだバカめまた来やがったぶちのめされてえのかカモにしてやるミカサがいるぞダメだここにケレン She had like the face of a zombie there、uh, for a second. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, that face would have scared me too. <laughs> Is like gonna be the way it started? Oh, actually? I mean, dude, when you have a titan like that attacking you, you're fucked. What, like, what can you even do? <laughs> This is straight up God of War 3. Although, I guess、uh, even Kratos could take down Chrono, so. What the fuck is that creepy smile? I really like it when they do that 3D stuff, seriously. I think actually Persona had that as well, the game, Persona 5. Every now and then, but I, I don't remember when anymore. I guess it is more of a common thing though. What the f why are they all smiling like that, man? That would haunt the shit out of me. Somebody should have told me this was a horror series. <laughs> This shit is surprisingly messed up. <laughs> oh my god.
All right. Well, that was the very first episode of Attack on Titan. Um, I'm not really sure what to say. I, I'm not sure if my reaction was really sh sufficient because I did like I tried to take in everything, you know. Because um, yeah, like I said, this is entirely new to me, and so um, you know, my reaction itself, I might not have said too many things. But that being said, I think that's what people want anyway. They want me to uh, watch it and actually be able to process everything. I think that is most important of all. But uh, that being said, you know, I mean, we got of course a little tease already of what was going to happen then i guess at the very beginning um but in between that like you know the first 10 15 minutes or so were relatively slow we saw a little bit kind of of the life that they were living i guess so they are living inside this dome or whatever you want to call it right i also quickly checked back the information that it uh, told me halfway through so apparently there's like there there was supposed to be like three rings i'm still not sure right now like if it matters where exactly they were at because i assume we're already going to kind of, you know, go out now or something in the second episode, maybe. But um, I'm not sure. I guess they lived kind of in the most inner part, right? Uh, but yeah, like there's 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 several rings, uh, you know, they were kind of living an imprisoned life, you could say, because they weren't really allowed to go outside. And so that's obviously what Aaron um, talks about that he really wanted. He wanted to see what life was like. Um, and he wanted to join the survey corps, which I guess is... And once, once again, I, I hope I kind of, you know, got as much information out of it as I could. But I assume that the Survey Corps, yeah, once again, they are supposed to fight these uh, Titans, right? And um, yeah, we saw in that quick little glimpse that they uh, uh, just recently at least didn't do a good job. And, uh, you know, not many of them returned. But uh, yeah, I mean, understandable story. Of course, shit hits the fan uh, right away. And like I said, I was... If there's anything that surprised me the most so far, it's how kind of gruesome, <laughs> how gruesome this, uh, the way they portray it actually is. Like, the violence is pretty damn brutal. You've got these titans that look absolutely terrifying with their haunting ass, uh, grins on their face or whatever I do not necessarily, <laughs> you know, it's not necessarily, um, yeah, a, a, a pretty sight to behold or something. Or well, I think that might, you know, I'm I'm usually pretty bad with that type of stuff. People might know about me if you uh, watch my other, uh, you know, my YouTube channel, my main one, or my Twitch channel. Um, horror games, I usually uh, am very bad with and stuff because that shit, that shit, that shit really does haunt me. And so <laughs> I feel like I might have quite a lot to look forward to actually in this now, uh, realizing this. But I guess we're just going to kind of find out where things will go now. Um, obviously, yeah, we have uh, Aaron, who I guess kind of is the main character then, right? And Mikasa joins him along. There was that blonde kid who I'm not sure, uh, I, I forgot the name right now, but we saw a brief glimpse of that one. I assume that one will return. We got uh, Hannes, I think he was called, right? The... Uh, uh, one of the gods, um, who actually seemed to be pretty all right. At first, he was kind of like, he seemed like a douche, you know, but it was more the people he was surrounded by, I think, that were the biggest douches, uh, <laughs> you know, who were just drinking alcohol all the time. He seemed to be all right. Um, so I guess we're going to uh, see more of him as well moving forward. But yeah, with that being said, I mean, I am into it enough for sure that I uh, want to continue. So um, I actually, yeah, no, I mean, once again, I'm not... I'm not blown away or something by it either. I'm going to be very honest, right? But I've only seen one episode. It's only been 20 uh, minutes, 25 minutes. I like what I've seen so far, and I want to definitely uh, continue and watch more. So that's exactly what we're going to do. One more quick thing I could mention is that, like I said, I really like what they did with the art style sometimes, where they have these weird 3D panning um, kind of shots, right? Like where a camera starts going around the corner or something. I don't know. I, li I like that. It brings a little bit more action or... Uh, I think it really like enhances, you know, kind of like the the the, the tense moments or something. So uh, I like that about it. But yeah, with that being said, we're going to continue right on in episode two. And for now, I hope you enjoyed the reaction. Let me know your thoughts in the um, comments, of course. I will actually try because I've been recommended that. I'm not really going to read the comments because obviously you run the risk of spoiling anything. And that's, I think, the one thing that I really like. I know nothing about the show, literally nothing, and I want to keep it that way. So I will try my very best not to get anything spoiled moving forward. And then, um, yeah, you will hopefully have a lot of uh, interesting, fresh reactions to look forward to yourself. So with that being said, thanks a lot for watching, everybody, and I'll see you in the next episode.